This would have been worn by a guardsman, because we can see the, the badge here. You didn't want to be on the receiving end of one of these babies. One Frenchman did make it inside. They were called sapeurs. They, they would have carried an axe. They were bearded chaps with uh, huge busbies. Come out of the squares, man their pieces again, and actually fire after them. And this happens about 10 times. This panorama was painted by Louis Dumoulin in 1912. It was actually commissioned to mark the first centenary of the Battle of Waterloo. Now, the dimensions of this are quite staggering, and the amount of work the guy put into it is amazing too. I mean, it's 110 meters all the way around and 12 meters high, and it depicts a certain moment in the battle at around four o'clock when Marshal Ney leads the attack of the heavy cavalry and um, when that occurred in fact Wellington gave the order prepare to receive cavalry now this order was interpreted as form a battalion square and as you look around the painting you can see Napoleon in front of his staff riding not far from Belle Alliance the farmer Belle Alliance and you can actually see Wellington and his staff standing in one of these squares now it's incredibly well done. The sense of perspective and the three-dimensional quality are actually quite remarkable. And there's a real feeling of movement and emotion. You can almost hear the clashing of swords, uh, the pounding of the hooves, uh, the cannonballs and the musket balls flying through the air. And I think it actually captures that moment in time incredibly well.